Welcome to another video from Haste Computer Repair, and today we're taking a look at the Lenovo ThinkPad P51 workstation laptop for use in 2025. I already shot a video review of this laptop back in 2023, and today we're going to be covering some things I didn't cover in that video. However, if you want to go check that one out for a more extensive look, I'll leave a link pinned in the comment below. Today, what I'll be covering are two different kinds of power adapters that you can use that actually aren't listed on the official Lenovo specifications. We'll be doing a video render test using DaVinci Resolve 19, a video encoding test using Handbrake, and an update on gaming performance. Also, I'll be doing a full takedown so I can show you how you can apply new thermal paste to the CPU and GPU. That's pretty much it. Let's go check this thing out. So before we start anything else in this video, I'll just pause for a moment and put the specs of this particular P51 up on the screen. So the first thing we're going to cover are the power adapters that I mentioned earlier. On the product specifications spec sheet, we actually have a 170 watt slim tip AC adapter listed. And these units actually came without power adapters, but luckily I have three available that will work in different ways. First up, I have this pretty beefy 230 watt power adapter. I still need to take that sticker residue off. Of course, that's going to work perfectly. However, it's pretty big and pretty bulky. I've actually traveled with this before and it's not that big of a deal, but it is something to keep in mind about how much space you want to take up or how much you want to lug around with your laptop. The main one I've been using for tests in this video is this 135 watt power adapter for charging the battery, gaming, and doing all the video render tests. This has proved to be enough. And one last option I have is this 65 watt power adapter. This one is actually for an older style ThinkPad. It has that barrel adapter, but I have a further adapter for the rectangle plug style. I wasn't seriously expecting to use this adapter, but it turns out when we plug it in, we have the little flashing red LED on the ThinkPad logo, and we can see that it's actually charging the battery, which is at 100% right now. So when you're in a pinch, I guess an old 65 watt adapter will work, but it's not really the ideal situation because running this P51 on a used lithium ion battery exclusively, I mean, you're probably going to run out fairly quick. So it's better off to invest in a 135 watt or something over 170 watts like this big boy here. So on to the first round of tests. I have DaVinci Resolve 19 loaded up with my usual 11 minutes of raw 1080p footage. And we're using the following settings here. Let's see how long it takes to render with this P51. And we finished up in 6 minutes and 14 seconds. That's pretty interesting because with the P52, it took 7 minutes and 35 seconds. And that was with an upper generation 6 core 12 thread Xeon CPU. So maybe it was just a serendipitous event, but that time to me is pretty good. Especially in comparison to using a more run of the mill ThinkPad. So next up is video encoding with Handbrake. I've got 11 minutes of 1080p gaming footage loaded up. And I'm using the Creator 1080p60 preset. And first up, we'll be testing your raw CPU power. So let's see how long this one takes. 6 minutes and 40 seconds. That's well, interesting, this 4-core 8-thread Xeon CPU, just about half the time as compared to this 8th gen 4-core 8-thread i5 CPU on the T490S. So now we're testing out the Quadro GPU, and let's see how long that one takes to encode this video. 1 minute and 54 seconds. So that of course is substantially better than just using the CPU, able to shave off just about 5 minutes. This is very similar performance to when I was using the P52 as an editing machine on the road. I guess I could also use the P51, so that's good to know. So now it's time for the gaming tests. I have Steam loaded up on an external NVMe drive connected to the USB-C port on the back of the laptop. And I've got an HDMI cable connected from here over to my workstation PC, where I'll be capturing gameplay using my Elgato PCIe adapter. So we'll be testing out a heavier game like The Last of Us Part 1, some lighter fare like Fortnite, and maybe something else just to demonstrate what the gaming performance is going to be like and what you can expect with this M2200 GPU.
This here is the P51 I've been doing all the testing on. I've already cleaned up and reapplied thermal paste to this one. This is the P51 that I'll be demonstrating how to do that on. First off, let's flip this thing over and we'll take the battery out. And using a flat head screwdriver, let's take off the back panel. I'm going to try the best bird's eye view I can of this process. Forgive me for any imperfections. So first off, let's start by taking this NVMe caddy out. I have this piece of paper on a clipboard that has labels as to where all the screws go because there's quite a bit to take out on this laptop. You might think about making one for yourself while you're doing this. Now we can take these screws that are underneath that back cover. And then there's two screws underneath the battery and four screws over here by the SSD and hard drive bays. One more for the keyboard, two up here by the hinges, and three down here. So now we can remove the keyboard. It helps to have a tool similar to this, so you can have an easier time just lifting up the keyboard from the base down here. And we can disconnect the two ribbon cables right here. There's a screw right here to release this little metal shield and underneath that's the RAM. We have another 32 gigabyte kit installed. Let's just take that out and put it off to the side. We can take out these two ribbon cables for the touchpad and the fingerprint reader. Also this plug right here for the speakers. And we can also disconnect the two cables off the Wi-Fi card here. And one cable connection from the display panel. Just pull right up. And using something like this plastic guitar pick, we can score along the palm rest to release the cl plastic clips holding it in place. And we can take out this cable connection for the power plug, the power button I mean. And the palm rest should just lift out like this. Of course, always be gentle. And we've got two screws to remove right here and right here. Continue getting some of these cables out of the way and then we can work on removing the display panel. Also right here is another cable connection for the display panel that we can pull right up. So right here on the back of the laptop, there's a little sticker that you can remove to reveal two screws. And this is on either end of the hinges. It may help to have something like this X-Acto blade so you can get underneath the sticker easily. And we can do the exact same thing down here. So here on the right side, we have a screw right here holding this little piece in place. And it's a little bit dark, but there's a screw right here. And you'll need to take this out as it'll make it easier to release the panel and lift it up. Let's do the exact same thing over here. We should now be able to lift the panel straight up and off the motherboard. Also, this entire piece right here should come out. Okay, all that work just to get to these two heat sinks. Let's get this heat sink out. Now it's time to go blow that dust out. Here comes the thermal paste. Okay, so that's looking pretty good. I think I'll put this back together off camera and I'll see you in a moment. 
So thanks a lot for checking out my video on the P51. I hope it helps you decide if this laptop is a good fit for you going into 2025. The keen-eyed among you may notice that I'm running Windows 11. And while this CPU is not on the official Windows 11 support list, I had to give it a try because Windows 10 is losing support in September 2025, and that's now less than a year from now. In particular, we're running Windows 11 Pro build 22631. And thus far, there's been no driver issues. Um, it's been smooth sailing. Now, mind you, I've only been testing out Windows 11 for a couple days. This could be an isolated experience. So definitely let me know if you're doing the same thing in 2025. I think we need to collaborate on this in the comments. Thanks for checking out my video. I'll see you in the next one. Just an FYI, I'm kind of tempted to start using this laptop again myself. See you later.